Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever. And as you can see, it is Dialogue Box a go go. Absolutely crammed full of informational stuff. Um, I haven't done this for quite some time actually. It's a good few episodes since we actually looked at um, all the figures and stuff in detail. Um, and I thought it was about time to do it now because over the last few episodes, We've been upgrading and tinkering with and, and trying to fix um, our cargo routes, particularly for the oil and the construction materials services. Um, and while I've been doing that, years have passed and the business has been doing well. I mean, as you can see here uh, from the uh, profit and loss uh, accounts, um, although we are spending uh, in this year alone, we spent nearly 37 million on new uh, rail um, assets, locomotives and wagons and stuff, um, we are making a lot of money, uh, well over 120 million uh, in the last few years. So far in September we've, we've reached 93 and all that has meant quite healthy profits in most years, um, except when I spend extortionate amounts on, on new track, uh, sorry, on new, on new vehicles, uh, 41 or 37 million. Um, regardless. Um, so everything is going quite well but over that time as you can see here we have accrued quite a number of vehicles which are getting on a bit um, and they're all profitable as you can see here I mean not hugely some of them like, like the local um, in-city trams or bus services they're not making vast amounts of money but they are making profits though more importantly as far as I'm concerned they are feeding people into the train stations um, which is where, of course, the bulk of the profit comes from. And over the years, um, these vehicles have um, <laughs> been, the, the vehicles are currently running, like these old uh, Saurus, are they? Uh, let's pick that one up, what are they called? Um, Saurus Tusha. I've no idea if that's how you pronounce it, I do apologise, uh, as usual, for my appalling European uh, pronunciation. Um, so I'm replacing those old vehicles with slightly more modern ones. Uh, for some of the oldest in-city routes uh, and also for this intercity uh, Newbury Coventry route uh, putting a much nicer and bigger bus on that much and the main thing is faster um, so although I'm not increasing the number of vehicles on the lines uh, because they're going around faster um, and most of them are larger capacity they should be picking up more passengers and that applies equally to the trams as well um, here in Churchill, one of the couple, only couple of places I actually use trams. Uh, I'm going to actually, if I start these replacements now, I haven't done that yet. Okay, let's get these all replaced. So that uh, goes on. Yeah, so this, this, I mean, it's just this is just tidying up and just making sure everything is reasonably modern and fast. And I'll be doing this with the trains as well, um, replacing all the um, old uh, steam vehicles, steam locomotives with diesel or electric. Uh, like for example here, um, this food distribution from the hubs around Exeter, um, that's going to be replacing these old steam locos with diesel. The slight problem I've got with, with that is that the uh, diesel locos aren't quite as powerful as some of the chunkiest steam locos and some of these lines I don't want to electrify them just yet um, even though the electric locomotives are that much more powerful at the moment 1968 um, than, than the diesel equivalents mostly speaking okay so that's going to carry on uh, rocking um, have I replaced those? it looks like I have that, that was quick yep that's the Mirage uh, so if we go down and see that tram operating in Churchill Trams, I, I always have trouble with trams, they don't always work terribly well for me, i.e. make money, but uh, sometimes they can. And they just look good going around town. See that one's doing quite nicely already. Mm, oh, he's only just in profit this year. <laughs> but there you are. Um, right, yes, and over in Exeter, the, uh, where was it, where are we, here we are. Yeah, I'm replacing these old steam services with uh, slightly better diesels, uh, which uh, should, again just improve the speed uh, and distribution of goods. Uh, I will want to tinker a bit more with the oil uh, situation here, 
But uh, what I'm going to do first off is something I mentioned in a couple of episodes ago, is finish off Thatcham. Way over here. We introduced passengers and indeed cargo into Thatcham a few episodes ago. And uh, we just need to finish this off. At the moment, our passenger routes um, take us from Falmouth here, uh, which is connected to the southern side of the map by boat, by a ferry from Exeter. So we've got train routes going from Falmouth um, to Thiel, to Bristol, to Yate, and to Thatcham. And there's also another uh, track going here from Falmouth to Whitchurch and to Felixstowe. Uh, so to complete the loop, we just need to insert a bit of track and a train line between Thatcham and Felixstowe, and that's the whole passenger loop tied up. Um, we may improve that and add more direct point-to-point um, -point services as well. Um, so let's get on with that. Uh, now the interesting thing here is the contouring between here, because Felixstowe is quite high up on the map, and Thatcham is quite a long way down. Now we do have a line here ready to receive the uh, the Thatcham line. If I just keep the game running, keep money coming in. Um, where is it? Yep, so we've got a line again. We've got a spare platform, which is this one here. I think I'm going to redesign this layout slightly, uh, improve this uh, this bend. So we can have two tracks. We've got a track coming in from Felixstowe along here and deal with that. Um, and that then needs to climb up the hill here to get into this station here at Felixstowe. Which is actually, I think, quite a short station. Could do with actually being longer, I think. So I might, yeah. Oh, of course, here comes a train. <laughs> just, to, uh, just to deal with. How long is that? That's only 160. We make it 240. Actually, 160 isn't. Hmm. It looks short there. I think, in fact, most of my passenger trains are on the shorter side. This one in the 8, for example. That's 160. And I think the one in Thatcham probably is. So maybe I don't need to, at this point, increase that. Uh, this one. That is 240, that's the Thatcham one. Do I want to spend money increasing the size of this one? I might as well actually, while I'm here, can I do that? Okay, that train's gone out of the way. So we're going to need to get rid of all this track stuff in the way. That's okay, there's no nothing at that end. So can we enlarge it to 240? We can indeed. I think we, we actually, I'm not sure we actually need four tracks on here to be honest, but we've got them so there they are. That's the way it, way it works. So um, we don't want any fancy stuff going on here, do we? I don't understand half these things. <laughs> so, um, catenaries. Yes, because the line coming in from Whitchurch is uh, electric, so we'll keep that. Oh, so the number of tracks is three. Uh, this is a pass-through track on the outside, obviously, because there's no platform against it. But we'll keep it to that. I'm not sure we're ever going to need that, but you never know. I'm going to need to rejig this a bit as well. Uh, has that train moved on? Where is that? There it is. There you go. Yeah, now one interesting thing here is whether I take the track and continue it. Or use, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just thinking the track will, will continue. We'll still use these two platforms here, so it will still be the same sort of two tracks essentially. Uh, now, the question is am I going to get away with a, with a. Can I do a manual switch in here? So if that goes to there which is the wrong side. Uh, it's a bit, looks like a bit curvy, doesn't it? And not at all on the flat, which probably is going to make creating a switch. That looks like it's going to be awkward. It's not! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, the, 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 this game is just a—it's a constant surprise, isn't it? Really, whether the, <laughs> the 
the switches will work or not. Uh, you can never quite tell. You think you understand how the slopes and the curves works, but then again, uh, then you suddenly find you don't actually. Uh, let's stick that there. And we'll stick one on the entrance. We've got one on the entrance of the bridge already. So we just need this one here. Uh, do we need any more on the bridge? We're probably all right with that. Okay, now what I'm thinking is we're going to get this track down here. So we will probably... Should we keep it electric or not? Yeah, let's make it electric for this side. Uh, the, the rest of this route around the far north is, is not electrified. But seeing as we've got electric coming in here, we might as well have electric going out. Yeah, now what I'm thinking here is we'll get down the hill and use part of this existing freight line track. Um, we'll at least go through that tunnel. I think we'll go through the tunnel. We won't extend the, the tunnel. We won't expand that. Uh, now, how awkward is this going to be to get down there? This actually looks quite okay. The speeds are acceptable-ish. What if I start from this side, actually? That doesn't work terribly well. Nope. You need to, if you close it, you can actually see what you're doing. There you are. That's better. And this will then lead to... Any construction not possible? Don't be ridiculous. Why is it not possible? If I do that to there, where's the, where's the station gone? There's the station. That's okay, I think I've got time to yeah, curve that round. So if we take that, okay, and we're going round here. Oh, this is looking reasonably good. Oh, there's a lo they're lovely high speeds. Do I want a tunnel going in there? <coughs> I'm not sure I can, if I can get away without a tunnel. Really, to go down there. I think the best speed, that was giving me the best speed. That was quite an impressive automatic. Yeah, that's it. I, mean, I, can't, I can't really argue with that. That's only cost, going to cost me 1.1 uh, million, roughly. Um, so that's not a bad design. So I must say the engineers in the game are, are quite, quite good. They don't do a bad job at all. So that's that going out there. Um, double track this. May well have. The, the other question here is whether this is a separate service directly between the two stations. Uh, Felix Dome Thatcher, or whether it's a continuation of the line coming in from Whitchurch. It could be that, actually. Yeah, I might do that. Right, now we need to make sure this... Oh, actually, that needs to switch across. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm being silly, Billy. Right, that looks good to me. Okay, so trains coming up this way out of the bridge can either go straight on carrying their stone up to the construction materials factory or they can cut across here to go up. The passenger lines can go up to Felixstowe. Likewise, they're coming back on this line. Yep, that's all good. That looks good to me. So some basic... Um, Yeah, so what we'll do, where's, because I want to prioritise the passenger route, I think, here. I don't have any signals on here, do I? So how best do that? If I don't put any signals on here at all, yeah, I think if we leave the signals further out from the switch, and hopefully that will be okay, I think. I'm not entirely sure of the logic of this, to be honest, but we... We'll see how it works in practice. 
Uh, okay, and that's the train is past the switch. That's good. And likewise, coming out of here, we'll have another signal over here. That train's coming to there. And if you're coming up this way, uh, do you want a? Actually, we've got signal there at the end of the tunnel. So if you're coming up, if we're not going to have anybody double slipping or anything like that. So you're coming in on that side. No, you're going up that side and coming down that. No, that's. I think that's okay, actually. That should be okay. Right, and we will create our separate line, yet yeah, we'll have the separate passenger tracks going directly into Thatcham, uh, running alongside the freight line. So we're just going to share the tunnel, basically, is all we're going to do. Uh, we, we don't need that more expensive um, engineering works to, to do that. That looks okay, I think. Before I do that, let's get the other one out. Just extend it up a bit more. Okay, that looks about right. And you oh. need to get in close. Whoops. Oh, slight mouse glitch there. I oh, can't see the junction. Where's the junction point? Let's get that out of the way. This is splitting. Where's this splitting off? About there, isn't it? Where is it? Well, there's usually a kind of. Ah, right, that looks like it. Yes, construction is possible. Don't be ridiculous. And why is this proving so. Difficult to achieve. Oh, did I, no, I didn't quite have it there. Oh, this is. Hmm. Well, it's not going straight. That's why it's not happy. <laughs> Why am I not getting... Alright, that looks better. Right, they're connected. Right, they're bound. Right. Let's get... Where's the end of that? Where's that? See, there's a gap there, isn't there, between the tracks, which there wasn't on the other side of the tunnel. I had trouble doing this before, I'm not quite sure what the logical problem is with the... It's almost like the best it's willing to do, I think, is along... Oops, along there. How does that look? Actually, that looks fine, doesn't it? I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm worrying about. Uh, while we're here, let's signal this one up as well. Um, so, that's fine. Uh, so, the main issue is going to be trains coming in. This is the cargo line I'm on at the moment. So, we'll want you to hang around there. And where's the kind of Pass the switch. Okay. I haven't got many lights on here, have I? Actually, by the look of it, I'm a bit. Although well, I've only got, um, I think, is it two or three trains running on here anyway, so that uh, probably explains why there's not so many signals. Okay, that looks all right. Okay, so let's get this plumbed in. So you're going to be going into this junction here. Yeah, I've got a crossover switch here 
I think that's going to be asking a bit much to connect into that, isn't it really? Okay, let's. We haven't got any trains around here yet, have we? Nope. Let's uh, dispose of this entirely. Do we need to smooth that out? Well, let's have a go at it anyway. Okay. So we'll have these coming out pretty straight from there. That's okay. It looks like on this bit, I didn't want to take that out quite so much. So it would be nice if these were kind of more or less parallel to... <laughs> I'm making a right old pig's ear of this, aren't I? No, let's do that again. I want these to be more or less... I want these to be alongside. Right. Let's do this properly. There's my signals, so there's a signal there. That looks more or less right, I think. As is that. I think my signal should still be okay for that. Okay. We carry that along there, that's better. So we could possibly have four trains running alongside each other in perfect harmony. Excellent, right. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to stretch this all the way up here. And then it's the curve. That's, that's, yeah, that's too sharp. connects into that. That's better. Good, good. And while I'm here, at the end of the last, uh, the, uh, after the last video, um, Mr. Phosphoric, um, a, uh, a regular viewer and, and commenter, thank, again, thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, to watch and comment on the videos. Um, just asked what was happening with the um, Prosophilus. What did I? <laughs> I've forgotten what I called it. Um, the train he asked to be named um, on the, uh, which I put on the, the stone to construction materials route. Um, we'll have a look at it a bit later. But it's doing very nicely. Uh, it's very profitable, as indeed that whole route is. Um, and um, we'll have a look at it in detail uh, when we've done this. And what I was hoping to do is I might do a sort of uh, follow along or ride along on that. But there's not quite enough activity on these lines yet to make that an interesting exercise. So we might not do that today, but in a future episode, not too far away, I think, we will uh, we will certainly ride along his uh, his named train. Why are you not doing that for me? Just come out of there, that's right. Ugh, I sometimes just don't understand why or how... Ooh, that's, that's kind of close. Isn't it? Actually, that might work. Is this going to work? Okay, so we've got these trains coming in uh, on this side, going into that platform. Got these trains, right, so that needs to be a double slip. They're coming out of there, and that's being double slip means they can go onto that line. And if they're coming out of here, they will just carry straight on. Right, so that does mean we'll need some signals on here to manage this. So coming in, we'll want the signal there. And equally, we want a signal here. And as they leave the station, 
go past the switch, we will put a signal there. And yeah, we'll have a signal up here. Oh, excellent. The new year has passed us. As we've got here a couple of new locos. They all look a bit electric to me. Uh, we'll have a look at them perhaps in a moment. Um, quick check of our finances. Actually, that's, ooh, that, that is quite good. Look, our income has gone up again. 138 million last year income. And although we spent 53 on trains, 50, nearly 54 million on trains. So overall, last year was a loss of 10 million, but that's not too bad at all. That's quite impressive work. Right, uh, we'll perhaps review that shortly when we get to the end of this episode. Right, I think that's looking okay. If I turn the lines on, well, that's looking good. Okay, right, so the question then here is at Felix, so we don't need contours anymore. Oops, we can get rid of you. Is, do we have a switch in here, or do we have the trains carrying straight on from Whitchurch? What train have we got here at the moment? That's quite a nice, profitable little number. Um, it is full, though. We've got the one train, I think, on that line. Yes, indeed, we have. And it's maximum speed. Is 78. We could do with it being a bit faster, I think, if it's going to go that greater distance. Uh, why didn't I do that? It's 12 years old. Hmm. Do we want to replace it? We could do, seeing as we've got new locos. Yes, that's what I'll do, is I will make this a Felix, uh, sorry, Whitchurch to Thatcham line. Uh, so why did I cancel that dialogue box? Your good is as guess. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, so we will, from Felixstone, go on to Thatcham. How's that working? Excellent. It's going into that uh, second platform, and after Thatcham, of course, it will come back to Felixstone. It does look like an odd kind of bend there, doesn't it, in the track? But that that, that should be work. That should work okay. And we're just using the bridge to share the, the tunnel, rather, sharing between the uh, freight and passenger lines. And that's going to pick up on. Yep, that's excellent. So we'll just name this Thatcham. Okay, I'm definitely going to need another train on there. Now, where's our, our nearest depot is there. So what about if we replace this one? If I paused again, let's, let's stop pausing, let's keep it going. Uh, replacements. So what train do we have at the moment? That's, oh, that's a box standard RE44. I'm sure we get something more interesting than there, can't we? Electric. Which is that one, goes to 78. Uh, 1900. What have we got? There's some of these. Oh, hang on. There's a. Oh, this is this is a big, powerful beastie, isn't it? That looks a bit too much, though. I think for for this, that's only 800k a year. This, yeah, it's not actually. It's not that much more expensive. But 110 is is a bit fast. Uh, what passenger wagons have I got? I can go. 87. These can go 100, so I can go up to 100. This is one of the new ones. That's only 78. We don't want that. What are those new? Are oh, these new locos? There was a new diesel one in there. Again, you see, 68, 87 is the fastest on the diesel. Uh, so I'm going to stay with electric. We want more than 75. Definitely. So we look. It looks like we're looking at one of these. Um, I think we're using those already, actually. Was it the, uh, one of those types? Ninety-three. That well, that's, that is very expensive. One five six. Actually, these are all quite expensive. <laughs> oh, I 
do that. Right, okay, make a choice. Uh, I don't think we're using... Are we using this one yet? That is... No, that's, that's too... We don't need anything that powerful, really. That's the trouble is, these, these are all quite powerful beasts. And this actually looks <laughs> like... Uh, the best one there. It's not quite as powerful, because we don't need that kind of weight. For these. Oh, uh, that's actually that was very cheap. No, let's let's uh, yeah, let's take this this British Rail one. Well, it's British for a start, which is always good. Uh, right, let's that get that out of the station. I think he's, he's filling up. The, the route is still is quite popular. Yeah, so we, we can put more characters on that, I think. Okay, so I'm going to replace you with that. And the passengers... Are we still using the top light? Yeah, we are still using the top light, which is... Uh, an old, very old... So we could use these. Uh, which ones should we use? The blue ones. It's kind of match the colour scheme, isn't it? Uh, so that's we'll put 60 on there. At 63. So we will replace him immediately. What we could do is we could start off the other train from. The depot here. This should be able to. Yep, yeah, this can reach all the platforms, so we can create a new train from here. Let's go to the depot, buy a train, and it's going to be another one of those. That was you. Thank you. And using the one, two, three, and we'll set you to the uh, Whitchurch Felixstowe Thatcham line. Well, you can reach it, that's a relief. <laughs> right, so as we know, it's, it's a bit of a, a struggle getting out of this particular depot. Again, gorgeous. Sir William A. S uh, I've said Stanley, I'm not quite sure. Could be Stanley or Stania, something like that. Again, the link for the uh, the model, uh, the mod, will go in the description for the video, and it will be added to the collection as well on Steam. So you can find it should you wish to use it. Right, now he's probably not going to be picking many people up at this stage. Now we were talking about that other route. The Newbury Stone Express and the vehicle, the Phosphorus Express. That was the one I was trying to look. <laughs> All right, so this this is the uh, the train named um, in honour of uh, Mr. Phosphoric. Um, as you can see, he's doing very nicely. Well, at two and a half million profit a year, roughly, in the last few years, and that's going to keep on growing. Now that, that line is bedding in. Uh, very nicely indeed. That's on that train. And the route as a whole, over 5 million profit. That, that is so good. That is so good. Yeah, and the quarry is sort of ramping up production now quite nicely. Um, so we may, I think, in the next year or so, want to add a third train to that. So I said, I'll do a ride along or ride on uh, on that train um, in a, probably a couple of episodes time. Um, just so you can see it running along. But there's just not enough traffic on that route yet to sort of make it really an interesting ride. So there he goes. Splitting off from the freight line. Looking good. I must have, don't actually ever seen in real life one of these locomotives. Or these, these, I mean, the, where I live, sort of in the south to southwest of, of, of England, uh, there is not a lot of electrification. 
And so we're seeing plenty of the HSTs, the, the 125s, which are being phased out these days. Uh, I'm not that familiar with, uh, with any of these electric locos. It's a shame, really. It's quite impressive. Well, that was quick. And right up here to Felixstowe. Another gorgeous modded station. I put the link in, the in a previous description, but I'll put it in here again for this one because it is, it is another gorgeous design. And just look, look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Well, so he's got 63 people going on to Felix, uh, to, to Whitchurch. Where's the other train on that line? Where is the other train on that line? He's on his way down. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's on, on, it's on that way up as well. Oh, right. Okay. Yes, it must have taken me so long to, uh, to get that sorted out. Both going in the same direction. Well, that's kind of cute. He's only carrying three passengers though from Thatcham, but at least that is three passengers. So the route is already sort of uh, kicking into use. People realise it's there, which is all to the good. That's a, that's is that the Phosphorus Express? Indeed, it is. Right, so that's Thatcham connected now. So that whole northern half of the map is now connected, uh, passenger-wise at least. Um, I still want to do some more work again with this oil route and construction materials coming down uh, from there. Um, I've got a plan to to, uh, to do that and start separating out the, the goods that have been trafficked, as it were, which should help even things out a bit more. But that's all looking good. I don't need any of those numbers and stuff in there. That's that's bad. Right, uh, so I think we will leave it here for now. So that's um, completing that passenger link, as I said. Um, there's one town we haven't addressed yet at all on the map, which is Kintbury, stuck here in the valley behind all these hills. Um, and I've got um, an idea for how to, to deal with that. And I'll tell you this, I think for the moment, it doesn't include ships. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so a final look then, where we are. Look at that. Where are we? We're October, 124 million already. Uh, we've only spent 18 million on new, on new vehicles, so that's quite good. Um, let's, I'd like to finish up on the last route we were working on, and I've lost it already. That's <laughs> which, so where are we? So there you are. This is our new train. Is he making money already? Not quite. I'm sure he will though. Um, so yes, there we are. Uh, one final look then at our line profitability overall. So as you can see at the bottom line of this, oh, this, this line itself um, is the least profitable. Uh, not quite a million in the red. Uh, that's going to change shortly, I imagine, isn't it? How much are we going to earn on that uh, particular trip? 619. Excellent. Right. So, yeah, nothing is losing vast amounts of money. Not even my buses and stuff in town, which is quite impressive. Um, and the most profitable route... Oh, my goodness. 12 million. 13 million. The Whitchurch Industrial, which is... Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I just can't cope when, when I make that much money, when the thing is quite so successful. I'm going to have to mess it up, I think, and introduce some more challenges into those routes. Um, look at that, people lining up at the station. They want to go places. Result. Okay, so thank you much, very much again for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this little episode. If you have... Oh, this train's too fast. Um, please do leave us a like and if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms, I think I'll smooth this line out a bit as well. 
before I do any proper um, ride along views. Um, do leave a note in the comments box below and of course if you've not done so already please do subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when I upload any new videos in this series or my other Let's Play uh, series. Yeah, I said that, that didn't sound quite right, did it? <laughs> anyway, from the Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever, until the next time, bye-bye for now.